It is time, everyone, for the CBR month review of January 2021. Welcome back to the channel. And today, we're here to talk about everything I watched, listened to, all that, and um, uh, from the month of January. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So, I started the uh, year on the very first day watching Sing 2. Uh, I didn't like Sing 2. Uh, I got a review that I already made, and I'll leave it in the description. But yeah, this movie was not good it wasn't for me personally and um i thought it would be like kind of passable but yeah nah I, I didn't like this one that much at at all actually then i watched adam mckay's don't look up and this one was a movie that i watched indeed uh i thought it was fine i thought it had good moments i thought the cast was great and uh, some of the characters were really good but this movie was not subtle at all um, I didn't like a lot of it. I thought it was kind of boring at times and kind of tedious. And yeah, I, I didn't care for this one that much. I thought it was okay. But that Ariana Grande and Cuddy song has grown on me a lot. I also watched The Matrix Resurrections. And this one also wasn't good. I thought this one was like not that good when I first watched it. I did give it a rewatch the other day. Um, I thought it was pretty enjoyable. Had some fun moments. Had some weird areas. But this movie's really rough and for someone who really enjoys the first two movies this movie is just such an utter disappointment of a like of a reboot slash sequel so i don't really know what they were thinking when they made this one but yeah pass yeah this one's not good i don't like it yeah i also saw spider-man no way home two more times in the theaters now you already know my opinion i gave it an 11 out of 10 on my uh, review and uh, if you guys want to watch uh, all these reviews of movies and all that, they're in the bio. But, dude, this movie's just perfect. There's nothing bad about it, honestly. Um, if you haven't watched it, you're missing out on life. And I just think everybody should watch it. it. Fan or Marvel or not, this movie's just perfect in all ways. And I've seen it seven times now, and it's just worth it. Then I watched Tick, Tick, Boom two more times, and... Uh, this is becoming one of my favorite movies I've ever watched. The directing from Lynn manuel is great. The really perfect, yeah, perfect acting from Andrew Garfield. The whole supporting cast, it's just all perfect and amazing and just great. I loved this movie so much when it first came out, and I still adore it to this day. And if you haven't checked it out, it's on Netflix. Please watch it. Andrew Garfield is perfect. He should win an Oscar. Then I also saw Moonfall as an early access AMC IMAX thingy, and uh, then I watched it again uh, the other day. This movie's actual garbage. Like, everyone's, like, hating on this movie a ton right now, and I agree. I know I gave it a 4 out of 10, but I originally gave it like a 3 and a 2, and I think it's down there. Like, a, maybe a 3 or a 2. But honestly, I can't with this movie. It's so retarded, and it's so stupid, and... It doesn't have that wow factor that I found in Independence Day or even 2012. And this movie is just really stupid and lazy and super predictable. And the twist was so terrible. Watch my review on it. I go really in depth and now it's a 2 out of 10. Okay, so those are all like the newer movies or just movies in general that I watched that were new to me or just like rewatchables that came out last year. But uh, now I'm going to move into some shows and TV episodes and all that that I watched. So I started off 2022 by uh, watching the first four seasons of Community. This uh, I had never watched before. I already knew what it was all about. and I had seen some episodes. But wow, I love this show so much. It is so funny and really smart until the, the fourth season. But this show really starts strong, really is good, and the cast is great. The characters are all likable for the most part. And I love this show so much. It's becoming one of my new favorite shows. I'm going to do a uh, video on Community eventually. So, um, yeah. I watched the first four seasons. I'm on the later seasons now. But, um, yeah, I'll probably finish it by the end of probably February. Then I watched The After Party on Apple TV+. Plus. The only first three episodes. But I don't hate this show. I think it's a lot of fun. It's got a great cast. Um, Phil Lord, Chris Miller doing it. I really like that. Uh, there's, like, two good episodes so far. Uh, the one with, uh, Ben Schwartz with a musical episode, that one was great. So, I like the overall structure and how they tell each person's story of the, uh, high school reunion after party night and how the main guy, Xavier, dies. But, I just like how they're building it up 
And um, I, I watched Only Murders, and uh, I think this is not as good as that, but it's it's pretty decent, I would say. Then I watched The Book of Boba Fett, or the episodes that came out uh, last January or whatever. And uh, I'm not going to say too much, because there's a lot of spoilers, but wow, this show got really good. Alright, so that's all for TV and movies. Now I'm going to go into actual, like, music and stuff that I checked out, and some, uh, you know cool stuff and uh gonna go through my favorite tracks and least favorite tracks and favorite albums and least favorite yeah blah 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 my least favorite song of january was light switch it was super lame and underwhelming and very annoying i also checked out the new corday record uh i'm feeling a six out of ten i thought it was good with some good tracks but there's a lot of filler in there now we have my favorite album of the year so far john fm by the weekend i already reviewed this giving the nine out of ten i think it stays at that it's very very good with some great 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 80s pop tracks. Check it out. Uh, link in description for the uh, review. Then my three favorite songs of the year so far have to be the After Party song sung by Ben Schwartz. We got Three Darts from Stardom, Two Shots, and uh, the other one. Yeah, sure, whatever. Now, these songs are really good. They're, they're mixed into the show, so you need some context. You got to watch the show. But these songs really bop, and they hit, and I really like them. So, um, yeah, these are my favorite songs of the year. And that's it for my video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Always leave a like, subscribe down below, and uh, yeah, so uh, check out the channel. We got some more reviews coming up soon, probably next week. I'll be dropping a good bit, and uh, you know, if you're watching this, Banana Sprouts, I'm coming at you. Uh, got a review coming out uh, on your channel, like you did to mine, and uh, if you are watching uh, anybody else, click the first link in the description. Visit this channel, watch my uh channel review on this channel so um yeah all right bye